In this video, you will learn how to troubleshoot and resolve node not ready state in a Google Kubernetes engine or GKE cluster. Before we jump into troubleshooting, let's review how GKE nodes work. A GKE cluster consists of worker machines or compute engine VMs referred to as nodes, which run your containerist applications and other workloads. The GKE control plane manages the node lifecycle such as automatic upgrades, repairs, health checks, and node auto scaling. Creating, updating, and deleting nodes is done through Compute Engine APIs. Node pools create the instance group, which creates GCE VMs with the Kubernetes binaries to register the nodes with the GKE control plane. The nodes have two states, ready and not ready. The ready state means the node is available to run workloads. But what does a node not ready status mean? It indicates the node cannot run the workload. A node is marked as not ready when the required node conditions, which we will discuss shortly, are not met. You can view the status of the nodes using the Cloud Console or using kubectl get nodes command. Here is the list of conditions that are checked before GKE marks a node as ready to schedule parts. If any of the conditions are not met, the node is marked with not ready status. Let's dive into the demo and learn how to troubleshoot and resolve two common scenarios when a node is marked as not ready. Container runtime down, container network initialization, or CNI failures. First scenario, in the Google Cloud Console, go to the Kubernetes Engine Clusters page and click on your cluster name. I'll select gk-cluster. Navigate to the Nodes tab which lists all the nodes associated with the cluster. Oops, this node is marked as not ready. Click the specific node name and check the conditions section. Hmm, that's a warning. Container runtime is down and ready false. This warning indicates that the container runtime is down, which has caused GKE to mark the node as not ready. Note that you can also find this information by logging into the node using SSH and running the systemctl status containerd.service command. To fix this issue, check if node auto repair is enabled on the node pool. As it is enabled in our node pool, GKE will repair the node and bring it back to ready state. Yay, the node is back to ready state. Now let's troubleshoot another scenario where a node is marked as not ready. From the Google Cloud Console, go to the Kubernetes Engine Clusters Node tab. Click the name of the node and check the conditions section. This time the warning is container runtime network not ready, network ready is equal to false, CNI plugin not initialized and ready false. This message indicates the container network is not ready, triggering the GKE to mark the node as not ready. To investigate this further, in the Google Cloud Console, go to the Network Intelligence Network Analyzer page. Check if there are any firewall rules blocking connectivity to the API server. Oh, the Network Analyzer is highlighting egress traffic is blocked due to the firewall rule. There you go. This could be causing the node to be marked as not ready. To mitigate this issue, disable the firewall rule by clicking Edit and selecting Disabled under Enforcement. You can now see the enforcement displaying as disabled. Let's verify if this issue is still present by refreshing the node page. Oh no, it looks like the issue is not resolved yet. Our next step is to validate non-GKE managed webhooks that are running in the cluster as misconfigured webhooks intercept and prevent system parts from starting. In the Cloud Console, go to the Cloud Logging. Look for events of type k cluster and filter based on the cluster name. Search for log entries with the text Fail Calling Webhook. Hmm, there are a number of entries for webhook named Check Ignore Label Blue.sh. Let's switch to the terminal and run kubectl get validating webhook configurations to narrow down the webhook. The blue validating webhook configuration has two webhooks. Run the kubectl get validating webhook configurations command to list the output in YAML format. The section check ignore label dot blue sh shows that a failure policy is set to fail. The scope and the resources show the webhook is intercepting all resources for the entire cluster scope across all namespaces indicated by star. Keep in mind, 
Kubernetes best practices recommend avoiding webhook operations on kubesystem namespace. To mitigate this issue, modify the webhook configuration to exclude the kubesystem namespace. From the terminal, run kubectl edit validating webhook configuration, navigate to the check ignore label blue.sh section, and change the scope to namespaced, and add the namespace kubesystem under the namespace selector. Adding the namespace selector with not in condition ensures the webhook doesn't operate in the kubesystem namespace. Let's go back to the Kubernetes engine clusters page in Cloud Console. Click the node tab and verify the status of the node. Yay, the node is now marked as ready. Thanks for watching.